Next stop on the South Island tour, Akaroa, a hidden gem southeast of Christchurch and known as the most French town in New Zealand. It was 1838 when a French whaler acquired the peninsula in a dubious deal to service his whaling ships and its influence lives on. Day one was blowing a gale and we met our first Staby Mad owner. Hi, I'm Mike Rutherford and this is my 2500 Ultra Cab. So we've got hot water on there, um, fresh water out the back too, so we've got a shower out there. We put in some real great, good home comforts like TV, we've got Sky so we can keep up to date with the rugby when we're out and about and we're moored up somewhere. We'll have some more on Mike's insane 2500 setup shortly, but first, what did he think of the 2050 Super Cab? I think this has got everything it needs, like a perfect boat. I mean, this is, you could just imagine this with divers on it, people fishing, um, it's got lots of space, heaps of headroom, it's just, and just its handling capabilities was absolutely impressive. We were swapping between boats um, in some pretty rough conditions and just the amount you know, we had to climb up the front and just the leg room was just, you know, being able to head around up on the gunnels and around the front. There was no way we were going to slip in. There's plenty of room for our feet, so no, it was great. I had this thing going back um, incredibly fast in reverse and I've never been in a boat before that hasn't taken a few waves over the back when I was going at the speed I was. It was a real credit to it. No water at all. Oh, well, Mike, my name's Steve Hamilton. I work here in Akaroa. I have a small business with my wife, small family business called Eco Seeker Dolphin Swimming. So we take dolphin swimming tours and harbour cruises out on Akaroa Harbour. And we're doing that with the Hector's Dolphin, which is the smallest and rarest ocean going dolphin in the world. Yeah, so i um, just been helping uh, my mate Mike out today. I've uh, been commercial skipper, I'm pretty handy on boats and he just needed a bit of a hand today for going out and showing off his new boat. Haven't driven a lot of stobies myself personally, but I have to say it was pretty impressive. I thoroughly enjoyed driving it today and I'm really impressed about how they really handle in the sea, but particularly really to doing tight turns and things like that. They don't bite in, they don't skip and jump across the waves. They really turn pretty smoothly and that was something I was definitely impressed with. So the 2050, uh, jumped on that, had a wee play. Fantastic little boat. What I liked about it is like, it's a bit like a go-kart. I'd almost say it's almost like driving a jet ski really. It's very maneuverable. Um, turns incredibly tightly, reverses incredibly well and I've found out that's due to the, the design of the hull at the back of the boat and um, yeah and I, was, I was super impressed with it but I was impressed with it handling the chop, we've had sort of 30, 35 knot winds out here today, choppy as hell, gusty as anything and this wee boat just cut through it like anything. Oh, the things I like about this boat, there's a lot of them. Now, to be fair, I've actually only had this boat for a couple of months now, but, um, but we just love the room. Um, we're looking to venture out further, um, enjoy the places around New Zealand. So we were looking for a boat that would, would give us some comforts, um, room, was safe. Safety has always the, been the, uh, the important thing with boats for me. I've only ever owned Staby Crafts and, and there's a reason for that. The first thing we wanted to um, achieve with this Staby is we wanted to get some hot water. That may sound silly, but with my wife Nikki and I and us venturing out for a few days, so we put um, fresh hot water um, shower in the back. Um, we don't use a lot of uh, live bait here in the South Island, so we decided we'd get all our fishing gear outside the cabin, so we put the drawer on the back. So we've got hot water on there, um, fresh water out the back too, so we've got a shower out there. We put in some real great, good home comforts like TV, we've got Sky, so we can keep up to date with the rugby when we're out and about, and we're moored up somewhere. Yeah, well, how my, my background in work is I've been in retail for most of my life. Um, in the last uh, 14 years, uh, we had our own business in Oxford and North Canterbury, so, um, uh, which we sold just over a year ago now. So I'm just spending a wee bit of time. I want to catch up with my son, George, and spend a bit of time with him exploring around. We've got a trip in February down to Stewart Island, to Port Adventure, so we've got 10 days of hunting and fishing down there which are the kind of things I used to do before we had our own business. So uh, I've uh, probably missed being a dad to this young fella for a, a number of years. So we're going to spend a lot of time in this boat, venturing into the outbacks and, and really enjoying the fishing and the nature. Yeah, well, we, yeah, safety is really important, um, obviously for any boaty. So yeah, we, we've got a, um, 
you know, locator beacon here. I carry one on me um, all the time. We've also got a sat phone in here, which is in a cradle and it's uh, got its aerial outside. So that gives us communication anywhere, anywhere with us um, around New Zealand, in fact, around the world. So yeah, obviously we've got our, um, our radio and I've got two handhelds here. Um, so we've got a spare one and often when we go to shore, uh, especially down in Stewart Island and that, um, if I've got George going for a wee hunt on his own or something, he'll take, he'll take a handheld radio so we can, we can um, yeah, keep in touch and know when to pick him up. Yeah, so we got, uh, we got the power boat centre um, just to put in an outside sink, um, which fresh water obviously, so it's just brilliant, hot and cold. Um, also is a shower, um, so we've got a hot water cylinder in here, which is 12 volt. Uh, which gives us a good probably seven or eight minutes um, uh, of a shower which is more than enough and then of course it reheats so absolutely love it and it also means George can clean up our fishing gear when we're coming home back to back to shore from way out at the groper hole so yeah it's just great all the, all the work's done and we got Staby designed this which is our um, pot we do a lot of crayfish uh, uh, for fishing out here in Akaroa and this has just been absolutely brilliant Again, Staby's uh, thinking of safety. They've got a, or the powerboat centre with Staby. Um, this obviously is the, um, you have to stand on it. So if you were to get yourself caught, you, obviously you're not gonna lose your fingers. So it's absolutely brilliant. The other thing we put on, which has been an absolute asset, is the um, uh, hand wash for your, for your hands. So you just, you just bang in one of these with your knee and water, it's salt water, goes out the side and you can wash your hands after you've been baiting hooks and things like that. So it's just brilliant. Next up on the South Island road trip, day two in Akaroa, the weather gods finally play ball. We meet an awesome old school Staby, and then it's back on the road to Kaikoura for an epic catch and cook with Kyla James.